Hey baddies, it's Kathleen and I know we've been doing a lot of fashion videos lately and although we all love them, we love our Princess Polly, we love styling, but I thought we could switch up and just do a little bit of a makeup video. I haven't done one of those in a while and this video should be fun. <laughs> um, I say it like that because you guys saw from the title, we're going to be doing how I used to do makeup and how I do it now. Um, disclaimer. If you do your makeup how I used to do it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just this personally doesn't work for me. I did it for years and I realized it just doesn't work for my skin type. It just it just didn't work. So I'm really actually excited. I do want to see a difference because I haven't done my makeup like how I used to in just so long, obviously, because it doesn't work for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's just get on with the video. I already did my skincare, which little fact back then, before I did my makeup, I would never do anything to my skin. Like I would put on moisturizer before bed, but then in the morning, I would not like rehydrate my skin. I would not give like, you know, anything to my skin. So that was part of the problem of why my skin was so dry. So maybe we'll do all this stuff and realize it wasn't actually the products. It was my fault, but we'll see. Um, so... First, we're gonna. This is gonna be the before side, before, and this is gonna be the after. Um, I'm gonna do like my full beat, just because my everyday makeup at a time was full beat. So, so it's fair. We're just gonna compare it because I feel like if I do my everyday makeup, then it's like obviously there's gonna be a huge difference. So we're gonna do my before side first, and what I always would do first is eyebrows. So you guys probably already know what products. I'm gonna be using and that is the Anastasia dip brow this was my favorite I have two shades I have a medium brown and ash brown and this is the ash brown one I'll probably use I don't remember which one I used honestly I'll probably use ash brown just because I think this one was like dried out so I couldn't use it and so then I just started using this one and it works for me, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. I remember I would always use this brush. This is the Milani brush. It came with their tip brow thing, which I was never a fan of, but I was a fan of this brush just because you're able to get it really thin. Ew. just do this ew it's so round I don't like when my brows look that round okay and I would again and I would fill in not that oh my goodness that is scary okay and then we're not done. After we would do this, you would think like, oh yeah, that's good enough. No. I don't know. I would then go on with the Brow 8 palette from Morphe and I would go in with this shade. Yep. I don't know why. I just thought, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And then I would go in with these two shades right here. So I'm looking at the viewfinder to make sure I'm putting out the right ones. And then I would fill in the beginning of my brow and I would go like this. And that was my brow. Ew. <laughs> That's really bad. Okay. Ew. Let me get all this product off my fingers because there's so much. For my now makeup, what I like to do first actually is do my primer so I can let it sit in for a while. So I actually use kind of a lot of primers. So I use the milk one under my eye. Then I like to use the milk hydro grip one. I love this primer. I have to make sure to only apply it to the summer first. And I definitely put way more than I would normally put just because I squirted out enough for both sides of my face. And then I recently started using this one, which I really like. And this is a the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I like this one because it 
helps with your pores but it also doesn't like dry them out to the point where it's like your skin just looks dry cool looking good so far i clean up my brows and okay so i remember i would of course use the tarte shape tape concealer but i realized that concealer does not work for me therefore i do not have it anymore but this one is a pretty similar formula so i'm going to be using it and it's in a super light shade which i remember i did i would use a super light shade for some reason that definitely was not close to my skin tone at all and this is the l'oreal infallible full wear and this is in color cashmere i would get the anastasia number 20 brush and oh my god i would put it on my hand so i remember i would always forget to clean this off so i would always have concealer on my hand just throughout the day as you can see it's a pretty light concealer so i would just dip in the brush like a lot kind of, and then i would clean up and also the concealer is just like the shirt shirt i literally okay the tart shape tape because it's just so dry and that's why i realized the product just wasn't meant for me when it came to the tart shape tape one and then i set that with the force the iconic airspun powder iconic queen love her never have any problems with her actually it's still a good powder it's just um i found other powders that i just prefer now we're gonna do this eyebrow because i kind of let this sit in we're gonna actually take this off because i don't want it to get anywhere and we're gonna do my brows which are a little simpler now so i usually use a just a brow gel and i just through my brows then i use the elf wax stick i don't even know what this is called it's just like a wax stick thing and i just put it on my brows so they can go up i either do this or I do soap brows but i've been i've been doing this lately and i really like it so this is what i'm going to be showing y'all so they're up and nice and then I know. I go in with the NYX Control Freak. And this just helps the wax really stay like that. Cute. They kind of look the same. Oh, no, they don't. I was like, they kind of look the same, but they really don't look the same. Because this one, you see absolutely, like, no hairs. It just looks like one color. This one, you actually see the hairs i think this is why at a point i was really insecure about my brows because i would fill them in like this so then when i would have them like just with brow gel i would be like oh my god i have no brows but that's not the case <laughs> okay then what i do now when i clean up my brows is i do get a concealer that is light but it's more of my undertones so this is the maybelline super stay beverage skin in 20 light and this has more of a yellow undertone which on this side it was more of a pink undertone which is why it looks so light so i just tap it as you can see like there's already like more yellow on this eye i just tap like that and then i get whatever brush i use for concealer and lately it's been this one i tap it on the lid first you know focus it where i'm gonna put shadow because i'm gonna do shadow and then I then like go under. I don't really try to go for a super sharp brow. Like I don't care if it look doesn't look super clean just because lately I've been liking the look of or for a while actually I've been liking the look of a more like brow that doesn't look like it's super done. Primer for this side was not it. I would use this high definition smoothing face primer from LA Girl. I actually still like this primer, but the way I would apply it was the problem. So I would get quite a bit, like literally two fingers worth of product. Um, just so we're kind of on the same pace, um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow first like I would normally do or I used to do. So, yes. So we're going to do this side, of course. And you already know, we had to whip out the Anastasia 
these palettes. We had to whip out the modern renaissance and the subculture. I definitely was more of a modern renaissance girl because that one came out a little later. So this is the one we're going to be dipping into. So we're going to start off with, of course, the iconic burnt orange on a super like fluffy brush. Actually, we're going to mix burnt orange and raw sienna together. We're going to go in with the M511 brush. I don't know why that took me so long to get out. But I'm just going to apply this. Oh my god, okay, that might have been too much. And one thing I do kind of remember is I was not the best at blending. Like, as in, I don't know if I'll be able to show it. But I saw it because I used to do snaptorials. And I remember I would leave such a harsh line on top. I think I would need a smaller brush to show it, but I was I was not the best at blending. So now we're gonna go in with the M433 brush. I think this is the type of brushes I would use, which weren't good. And I would, like for what I'm trying to do, and I would basically just go like this. And that line up there would just stay like harsh like that. It would just stay. I wouldn't think to blend it, I would just Leave it like this and be like, okay, all good, all good. We're gonna go in with mm, maybe red ochre. No, we're actually just gonna use this brush again, which is the M433. We're gonna go in with red ochre. Wow. That really is the eye. It really is. And I look. It's not a bad one. Like, if you really could blend it well, it's good. But at the time, I did not blend it well. I would just apply colors and be like, okay, I done. Okay, so I forgot to show it. But what I would always do is cut it so it was really sharp because I like the look of that. And that look isn't bad, but... I just feel like I honestly could have done a shape like this if I just did the, I shaped it out nicely. But now for this eye, now this is where I go in and actually set it. I like to not really set it right away because, I don't know, usually I would do my face first. And I'm literally going to take excess powder that's left on the brush and just brush it over because I don't want it too, too dry. Because I think when it's a little sticky, the um, eyeshadows stick better. So I'm going to actually do a pink look to match my outfit. And I wasn't really sure what look to do. But I knew I wanted to use these palettes. Because these are the palettes I've been loving and using so much. And that is the ABH and Orbina palettes. I have number four. Number two. Number three. I think it's number one. And number one. So I have all four. But I don't know if there's more than that. But I'm just going to do a nice little look to match my outfit. Um, like, I feel like I'm just going to do the techniques I would do now. So, yeah. So, first what I'm going to do is get a fluffy brush. I'm going to get this one that does have purple on it, but it's okay. <laughs> and dip into E1, which is this really pretty purple, really pretty pink. Now I'm more about, you know, making sure everything's blended. So, I'll just get that. And I just lightly start in the middle oh. and then i just today i'm fit what shape should we do mm. let's see what i end up doing i'm gonna slightly bring it in but not too much in the inner corner Making the round shape of my eye. I think it looks a lot nicer than a sharp one. I just think it looks nicer on my eye shape. Um, I've been having like dry patches on my skin so if eyeshadow it's not sticking it's not the eyeshadow's fault it's not my fault it's just that usually when I have dry patches the eyeshadow doesn't want to really stick on those parts which is really annoying but it's just been what I've been having to deal with lately. So I'm going to go in with a flaw brush. This is the M5, M456 and just tap it on that little dry spot. And then also use this to help with my shape a little more. 
So it's the same brush, but just a different one. And we're gonna go in with the hot pink, hot pink, the E5 from the same palette. But also I'm not really a this vibe anymore. Like I don't really do eye looks like that. If I am gonna do like a more neutral eye, I think I literally just do like brown liner just because that's what I like. I think it looks nicer on me than doing an actual like brown eye. I haven't done a brown eye in so long. But if I am, I want it to be brown. I don't want it to be like more on the orangey, more of this. I want it to be brown. So from the Volume 1 palette, we're going to mix A1 and B3. So a purple and a nice little pink. Because this one is light and this one's just a little bit too dark. So we're going to mix it. And by the way, the pink one is the Volume 4 palette. And I'm just going to go on with this like um, fluffy brush. And it's like a flat fluffy brush and it has no name on it. So I don't really know what to tell you, but it looks like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply this. And that's it. That's all I think I'm gonna do for that eye. It's really pretty. It actually, weirdly enough, looks really natural. <laughs> it looks so, like, not dramatic. I don't think it does. Some might think so, but I think it looks, like, pretty natural. Cool. Oh, we should go in with this. We're gonna go in with the By Mario, like, um, this is a highlighter in quartz, and we're just going to dip in with, like, the same brush. We're just going to put this on top, because I think that will add just, like, so much, like, a finish into it. And we're actually, you know what, because I do it so much on my makeup looks, we're going to add little gems. Once again, these sticker gem sheets are from Amazon, so if you want them, that's, that's where you can get them. Like these, which I don't know where these are from. These are from like a nail set that I got years ago. So just look look, look up like small gems. And I really hope you can find them. Cause, oh my god, I don't need that much. Because I don't know. Like I'm running low and I'm getting worried. Because these are my small, small ones. So, yeah. And I just used lash glue, you guys know, to apply them. Sorry, I have like stuff in front of this drawer. Okay, so for lashes, I was thinking of doing the same pair, but I remember I loved this brand, which was Coco Lashes. And this is in South Fifth Avenue, so I'm going to be applying this. I already put the glue on it. I'm just waiting for it to get tacky. And then on this one, I'm using the Bella Glam Lashes, and it's in style that I don't know how to say, so I will put it up on the screen, because I don't even want to try to say that, because I know I won't be able to. I'm going to put lashes on on camera, because I realize I cannot put on lashes on camera to, to save my life. Okay, so now it is skin time so once again we're doing this side first and my foundations I would use all the time were either the LA girl one in a shade that was definitely not my shade and the makeup forever one so I think we're gonna go in with the makeup forever one just because I remember that one was like one of my faves <laughs> once again back of my hand would not wipe it off so it would definitely Definitely. Did I put primer on side? Yeah. Look at that. Just way too like warm, not my undertones at all. I would always use sponge. I always liked applying foundation with a sponge. I think it looked a lot nicer. And I would for some reason, even though I would wear concealer, would still like, oh, I'm going to blend it on my like under eyes which you're not really supposed to do because that makes your concealer look way cakier than you want it to be and for this side we're gonna use the covergirl clean fresh skin milk foundation if you want to know like the color by the way this was in y375 and i'm going to be using color 570 medium tan which i think this honestly is also not my skin tone but i I don't really apply that much and plus it's not full full coverage which is why I like it I'm like really far away from my mirror actually this is my <laughs> you can like definitely tell I can tell in person like the difference between these two shades then for concealer I, on this side, like to do this one, which I'd use the same one, and what I would do is I just put some here and put some here, and I kind of leave the middle 
empty. And then for this eye, I would do the iconic triangle, like so. So we're gonna use these beauty blenders. Or actually we'll use these ones because I like to use those ones. Was this one? Or? Yeah. Okay. And what, as you guys can see, I like to focus it if I have a lot of product more here. I realized I said I was gonna do this at first, but I'm now switching. And this is also why I do eyeshadow first, just because I feel like when you do this, it kind of you have to kind of be careful. It's that eye, and then now we're gonna do this eye. Okay. Oh my god, wait. I won't- what am I supposed to do when I have so much product? What- did I just- would leave it? This is probably why I felt the need to bronze up my face so much. Because I would like put so much concealer on and then it would be like light. So then I would have this white cast. Now for powder, we're gonna go back to doing this side first. Of course, the Airspun Iconic Powder. I'm gonna go in with a sponge and I would not only apply this under my eye and I would actually bake. So I'm gonna like tap it. I would apply it here. Haven't even done contour yet, but I would apply it here. And I'm actually using a wet sponge, and I'll apply it here to hopefully help my smile lines, but this did not help them. This just made them worse, honestly. But that one I would tap in, but I would leave the under eye like that. I, take, I do take a powder that is more on the yellow side. This is the um, Anastasia one in vanilla, and I mixed a little bit of banana powder in it, just like the tiniest bit, just to help with the undertones. And I get this, and I blow off, and then I tap, but I like tap it and like kind of blend it in with my thing. And I'm gonna actually get a dryer sponge, like this one, rather than like let it set, I like to tap it in, because I like the look of that better. Ew, ew. This is one thing I would constantly feel when I do my makeup. And that's how dry it felt. Like you can, you know how you can feel when your skin is dry? Like I can feel it right now. Now what I'm going to do is get a brush and I'm going to go with the LA Girl Pro Face Powder. This is in the color Nude Beige and I would just dip in. Just apply this all over my face and this is when I would take off my powder. But also set my face. And like, you know, got to make sure to really... Really set it. This side of my face actually doesn't look too bad. I just feel like I could have applied, a, if I like applied a little less concealer, it would look good. But also I don't know how it looks close up. So from a distance it doesn't look bad. Then we're gonna get this brush and the milk powder, like a loose powder. And we're gonna get some. And then just set my face. And I like to use a loose powder now just because it's not as heavy, you know. I don't need a really extra coverage. I feel like back then for some reason, even though I have clear skin and I still do, I felt like I needed so much coverage when in actuality, um, my skin looks nice. And I like when it still looks like it's your skin and not like a completely different thing. But that's just me. If you like the way it looks, that's perfectly fine. Just me personally. I like the way it looks. Now for contour and bronzer because I did do both. I'm going to do contouring with the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I have a brush. And I know I would use that. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to go in with this side. Which is the shade side. We're going to dip into this first shade. And just apply it. One thing I really thought I was good at at the time was contouring, and therefore I would pack it on. 
Like the craziest thing is I would pack it on and then I would still bronze. And then we're gonna go with the hula benefit with the fluffier side. And go over that to bring that color back into my face. Then we're gonna go in with, for this side, we're gonna go in with this one, which is the Fenty Beauty Island Ting and this more angled fluffy brush. And this is how I contour a little bit with the bronzer without doing both and all that. And this brush is from a set, a BHS, BH Cosmetics set, so I'm not really sure the name. So I just tap and then I just. it a little higher because I think it looks nice in my face shape and then I put some right here help my cheeks help lift up my face a little bit okay then for blush my all-time favorite was the Too Faced Luminous Peach she was my favorite blush I loved her still love her don't use her that often anymore just because she is a sparkly blush but at the time I didn't care and I'm going to use this brush because I do remember I would use it a lot. And this is the NYX number 8 brush. Just dip in. And back then I wasn't really into the blush. Like I liked it, but I wouldn't care to apply that much. And we'll just put it here. I would actually put it on my cheeks. Like although I wasn't into it, I would put it in spots I wouldn't put it in now. So I would put it here. Like I would think I need to put it all over and for this side i like it's still like a nice little peachy blush so i like to go in and this one has like the tiniest bit of sparkle but i like because it's very subtle and i'm gonna go in the color miami from the blush trio and this is peachy love and i like to go in with where's my brush at? i literally took it out where did I put? oh it's right here <laughs> the morphe um e4 brush Step in and I just apply it on my upper cheeks to lift up my face. I saw a little bit of a close up on my face because I looked, I cut the camera for a bit, and I definitely can see a difference in just the coverage. And I definitely prefer this side because it still looks like my skin, but obviously, with a little more coverage, I like a lot of blush. <laughs> Back then, I was about blush everywhere, but over here. I like a lot but or what did I say I like blush everywhere but not a lot but this side I do like a lot of blush but more now we're gonna do highlight which this is the fun part so what we're gonna do is first spray my whole face because I, I still spray my whole face and I did used to back then I would use a brush like this this is the e501 brush and I would spray the brush and then of course we're going to dip into one of the glow palettes. We're going to go in with the sun dipped one. Or actually, this one was the one I used. That glow. And I would use the, what is it called? Sunburst. And with my wet brush I would just dip in. And I would just apply the highlight. Way too much definitely. Because I was all about highlight back then. I wanted people to be able to see my highlight. And by that I mean I would apply way too much. I always like just highlighting that part. Not so much the tip. And then. I would like. This is hard. How do I highlight my nose? Then the final. Final step is the lips. I have a ring. That's what that beeping noise is. But. Of course, I had to pull out a lip that I know I wore way too much, and that is the Kat Von D and Lolita. Yes, we're just going to apply a lip liner, and we're going to apply this one, just because I think it would go. This is the Allegro. I don't remember, like, the exact combos I would use, but... <laughs> so we're just going to use this one, but this is the Allegro in the color Natural. Like that. And then I'm thinking we go with Lolita because she was my favorite. And what the crazy thing was matte is that you really don't need a liquid liner. But at the time I was like, oh no, I need one. And then on this side, I now, before, would not care if my lip matched my look. I wouldn't say this exactly matches this side. But I do like to match. So what I'm going to do is a lip combo I do all the time, which I think is really pretty. 
And that is the Milani Color Statement Liner in the color 04 All Natural. I think it's literally the same name as this one. Oh, yeah, this one's a natural, but this one's all natural. I like, in, I like putting on this color. And this is the from Liz McGuire thing, and this is in the color Lizzie. And I'm gonna put this all on my lips. I still sometimes go for a matte lip, depending on what type of look I'm going for, but majority of time, a gloss is it for me. Okay, and then we're going to, hold on. Sorry, I need to get like the excess so it doesn't get on my teeth. Set my face. And we're done. Okay, and this is the finished look. Um, put on some hoops. I left this one in. I don't really feel like changing that, but I put in some hoops because gold at the time was my thing. Now I'm more with silver and I do like wearing gold sometimes. And I'm mainly a silver girl now. But back then I was all about gold. Silver was not my thing. So this is the finished Girl, shut the hell up. Y'all hear that? Ew. This is the finished look. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's great going back and just like looking at old photos and just seeing the progress. You know, the more you do makeup, the more you're going to progress and you're going to know better techniques that work for you. And this is what I thought at a time worked for me. And then I realized, no, not it, cat. Not that there's, once again, anything wrong with this makeup, but this just, you know. We really take a good look at my skin, and we look up close. Um, it's, I don't know if you could tell. Oh, look at the highlight right there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but it is just a little dry wood on this side. It's a little more just my skin. Um, and I like it a lot more, and I think it looks a lot prettier. I think it just suits me better, especially for someone with dry skin, as I said multiple times but this is it this was fun it actually was fun it was fun like just being able to reminisce on how i used to do makeup and you know looking at it and really seeing my progress as someone who loves makeup and although it doesn't do it that often as much as i wish i did it's just fun saying that i actually have improved because sometimes when i do makeup i'm like bro i don't fucking know how to do makeup but this made me realize that you know i have learned a few things um, I'll take some photos so you guys can see, like, a real good look at it. I'll put them up on the screen. Here's the before. Here's the after. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, if you do your makeup with this, that is perfectly fine. If it works for you, then good for you. And, um, makeup is just something fun to do. And don't let what anyone else says tell you, like, convince you that you're doing your makeup wrong. Because there's no wrong way to do makeup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below any other videos you guys would like to see from me. And um, I was thinking about doing a dressing like this for a week video. So comment down below some ideas I could do. Because I really like filming those type of videos. Because you guys still get to see my friends. Even if it isn't them talking like before. It's still something at least. So yeah. Um, I love you guys so much. And... You know, the vibes. I'm gonna go listen to Kanye now and views. Life Pablo views.